Oh, I went today with my brother to traffic court because he got his license suspended because he forgot to do the dry, defensive driving thing. He didn't have to do it, and then, but so then he did it. But he still had to go to court for it, which ended up being thrown out because he took care of it. But he still had to go to court. So anyway, um, so I'm in there waiting. Like, apparently it started like an hour late because he was there for three and a half hours. Well, after about two hours, I, mean, I was tired of sitting outside waiting in the truck. I mean, yeah, I was in truck in front, and I was a bore, so I wanted to go in, you know, just to see what was going on. So I'm staying in there, man. Well, on my way in, uh, there was this girl who was looking for a spot, because there's not much parking, okay? And basically what it is, is, you know, you got, you know, parking lot, cars here and cars there, right? Well, she's like this, and there's a, and there's this lady parking the spot, but the car next to her is so close, she couldn't actually get in the door. There was like a foot, literally, between her driver door and the other car's passenger door, and there was an older lady. She's probably 60 years old and not moving around very well. She couldn't get in her car. So this young lady saw she was having problems, and she needed a spot anyway. So what she did was, uh, don't look at me, you stupid lady. Um, what she did, she told lady, she goes, hey, uh, you know, I'll help you, you know, I'll crawl in through your passenger thing, and I'll pull back it out so you can go, and then I'll take your spot. And the little lady's like, okay. <clears throat> you know, I'm just, just kind of standing there, and I'm talking to this cop guy that was out there. I was talking to him about the fish burn cop that got shot, you know. I was there talking to him, watching all this. I didn't, we didn't realize the little lady was having a problem until right when this the other lady pulled up. We saw her get out of her car, and we're like, why is she, why is she parking there? That's we all we know what was going on. <clears throat> and, uh, well, she gets backs out, and the little lady gets a car, and she's walking back to her car. This guy whips around everything and just pulls in. He gets out, and this lady's like, hey, uh, I was just moving hers forward because she had trouble getting her vehicle out. I was going to park there. And the guy's like, oh, well, too bad. You're lost. And he's walking in, and the cop's like, look, bud, you know, that's her spot. She was helping a little old lady, blah, blah, blah. And the cop's like, well, it ain't got her damn name on it. And the cop's like, look, man, he says, if you go in there, when you come out, your car's going to be gone. Okay? I mean, you, you just, it was, it was just rude and uncalled for. That's her spot. You, you saw her, what she was doing, and you, and everything. So the guy got pissed, moved his vehicle, and the lady got her spot. But I am going in. I am talking to her because she was really pretty. So I figured, hey, I might as well at least talk to her. I mean, I know I ain't going to get the time of day, but she was just nice. You know, it was nice to have someone nice to talk to. There's a lot of people in there, man. They're just, like, ghettoish, and I just don't like talking to them. But. So anyway, we're inside there, and there's this funny black lady. She's, like, 36. I felt bad for her because she... Uh, just buried her twins. They were, I mean, I mean, you know, I guess it doesn't matter how old they are, but I mean, they were just a few days old, but both of them died. You know, just natural causes. They were born premature, and she just got up burying them like a month ago, five, six weeks ago, actually. Yeah, but she was really, really funny. <coughs> she kept talking, making fun of the cops, and she was not making fun of them, but she was like, roll, like, acting like she was them, and she was copy and the stuff they were saying and stuff. It was hilarious. But there was this lady, man. She come out of the thing where they pay the tickets and she didn't have her ticket number and she or something she she didn't have something she needed. And she you know, instead of just trying to solve the problem, she was getting lippy. I mean she was like cussing at the people. So these ladies just called the one you know, the cops are in there, you know, and they're like, Hey and the cop made telling her to leave and she got lippy at the cop. And she goes, I'm saying if I get this, ain't a damn thing you can do about it, blah, 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 but getting all lippy. The cop said, look, he goes, I'm going to tell you right now, you either leave or I'm going to arrest you. And she goes, you can't arrest me because I ain't done nothing, blah, blah, blah. Well, he had her up against the wall and in handcuffs in like 15 seconds flat. I was like, damn. And then about, I don't know, 45 minutes later, there's some other lady coming up, walking out of the office where they ask questions and stuff. And she's getting lippy, and they told her to leave. Well, she started to leave. Well, then she came back and got in the line to ask, in a different line, to do, do something else. I guess she decided, something about, she didn't think she had to pay her ticket because something, this or that. And she missed her court thing, so she did, she wanted to actually go to court. And she missed it because she missed her court day. So, you know, so they, she left. Then she comes back, she's like, sure, I'm just going to pay it while I'm here. So she comes back in, is in line. <clears throat> cop walks by and sees him. I was like, no, I told you to go. She goes, I'm just going to pay my ticket. He said, not today, you ain't. He said, when, I, when you're kicked out, you're kicked out for the day. You know. He said, go home and pay it online or something. 
and started getting lippy. And he's like, look, you got to the count of five or I'm arresting you. And he's like, one. And she's like, blah, 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 blah. And he's like, two. Blah, 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 blah. Three. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, I just want to do blah, blah. He's like, four. So she starts, she turns and starts to walk. And you walk behind her. She kind of stops and goes, blah, 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 blah. He goes, turn around again. I'm going to arrest you. She turns around and starts walking. Turns back around. Stupid. You know? You just seen him arrest someone else a little bit ago because she was there before, waiting in line when, when that happened. And bam, he had her up against the wall. It's like it wasn't no thing, boy. Putting the cuffs on her. I'm like, you stupid ass. How are you going to get a little with a cop? In some sort of a place full of cops. <sighs> I don't understand these people, man. Uh, kind of wrote down everything I want to talk about. Oh, yeah. Been sick. I think part of it was because I went down to Nashville. I didn't really wear a jacket. Because I didn't want to meet in bars and stuff with jackets, so I just didn't wear one. And we was walking all around outside. Stupid, I know. Uh, there's a country singer. She's on my MySpace friends list, but she's not on my top friends list. But you can look up. Her name is Susie Orvec. She's on iTunes. You should check her out. Uh, Amber Rhodes, also. She's awesome. She's an amazing singer. You guys should definitely check her out on iTunes and MySpace. Her name is Amber Rhodes. She just uh, opened up for Rodney Atkins, and it was really cool. She said she got to meet him, and she got a bunch of pictures and stuff. But then I felt bad, because then she's like, I lost my camera. Somehow, he got left there, somehow at the table or something, because when she was done, she came out in the crowd and was sitting there and was watching Rodney. <clears throat> Excuse me. But she left her camera, so. Hey, if you was at that concert and you got Amber's camera, send it back to her. That ain't cool. That's her pictures. At least send her the pictures. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if, I, if you have to steal the camera, at least email her her pictures. Those are, like, cool pictures. You know, that's priceless. She'll never get those pictures back. Any other one. So, um, I don't know what the hell the word B means. Right now, I'm kind of waiting on Josie to get here because I'm going to hang out with her. But I got here early because I thought she was supposed to be here at 7 at 7.30. <coughs> Dumbass, my chest hurts. And I hung out with her Sunday. My God, we was in this bar, and it was, it was so much smoke. I went home, I couldn't breathe. I mean, I could, you'd hit yourself in the chest, and smoke would come out. Like, what the hell, people? I mean, that stuff will kill you. I, I don't even smoke, and I think I smoked three packs on Sunday. It's horrible, horrible stuff. Uh, I got a concert coming up. I'm going to February 28th. Uh, it's Jason Michael Carroll. Going to be awesome. I gotta find somebody to go with me. Jamie's possibly gonna go with me. I'll find out tomorrow if she's going with me or not. Josie was going to, but then she's got a dark thing she's gotta go to. Some sort of like state tournament thing. And she can't go. So, I gotta figure that out. Uh, but then in March 20th, I'm gonna go to uh, see James Otto here. Which is like, it's like a 10 minute drive, about 15 minute drive from here. Not bad. The the for the one on February 28th is like a two and a half hour drive. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Uh, Jason Michael Carroll is awesome. He's on my top friends list. Go check him out. His music is awesome. He's the one that does the list of lies. Uh, beautiful song. Great guy. One hell of a singer. Trey and Tim is two guitar players. Amazing people. Uh, they're just good, fun people. Uh, you know, and like I said, James Otto, hello. Biggest voice in country. Gotta love James Otto. It's gonna be at the 8 Second Saloon here in Indianapolis, Indiana on March 20th. You should get tickets. Come check it out. I'll be there. See James play and you will be a, a, an instant fan. You will love him. He's awesome. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to split this up into two blocks. I know this is going to be way too long. Uh, what else? I got to pee so bad it hurts. That's why I'm getting all fidgety and twitchy. Because, man, I got to go to the bathroom. I'm not bullshitting you. One bit. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah. That's all that happened. Yesterday I just kind of watched TV and laid around. I slept like 16 hours yesterday. Hello. Awesome. Awesome. So, yeah. Well, anyway, I think I'm off here for a bit. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.